Welcome back fellow coders, Jared Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a sprite into a button. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get rid of these sprites that you're not going to use in this project. So I'm not gonna use this thumbnail. And let me look at these costumes, see if I like any of them. Nah, I'm not gonna use a treasure map. I'm gonna use a painting. So I got rid of the other sprites. And in here, I'm going to select one of these paintings that I'm going to use for my project. I really like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to delete the other ones. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. So now I've only got this costume right here. Now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a second sprite. The second sprite is going to, like if this is a picture, we're gonna take the second sprite and put it on top of it and make it so that only a small portion of that is a button. So to do that, we simply right click on our sprite. We say duplicate. And uh-oh, you'll notice that we've got two pictures. They're not right on top of each other. They're kind of off center from each other like this. I just bumped the microphone, sorry. Hopefully that wasn't loud. And you'll actually look right here, the coordinates for this are at negative 35, negative 50, and this one's at zero, zero. So what we want is to set these to zero, zero. So that way it goes to the center of the screen. And now we have two sprites, one on top of the other. Cool. So. What we're going to do to turn this into a button, um, like the sky, I'm going to turn into a button in this video. I'm going to go to the costumes for the painting number two, which I want to actually name sky, so I remember which one I'm working on. And I'm going to use this erase tool to get rid of everything except for the sky. All right, so I used the erase tool and I got rid of everything except for the sky. So now what I want to do is I want to actually make sure that uh, this sprite is in fact on top of my painting. So I'm going to just click on this to make it go to the front. So that way, instead of hiding behind it, puts it on top. And I'm going to make it so that we actually change the color whenever you click on the sky. So we go to events, and when the sprite is clicked, it's going to change the color. So I'm gonna go make this full screen so you can see what this is gonna do. So when I click anywhere on here on this sprite, it shouldn't do anything. But when I click up here where the, the sky is at, it's going to now change the sky color. Pretty cool. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to create uh, many duplicates of this. So maybe you'll have 10 different uh, duplicates of this. You're going to make sure that it goes to zero, zero. You're gonna delete everything that you don't wanna have as a button, and then you're going to make it do something when you click on the different parts of it. So maybe you'll make it so that this person talks, maybe you'll make it so that her eyes change colors when you click on them, maybe you'll make it so that um, you can shake hands with them, I don't know, all sorts of other stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.